On Wednesday, Somalia's defense minister announced the return of the first batch of 5,000 Somali troops sent to train in Eritrea. It is during a press conference outside of the Ministry of Information in Mogadishu that the minister gave more details. The training of the soldiers was due to end last year, but their return was delayed by former President Ramajo. Today, I would like to share with you good news that is important for the Somali people and a meaningful point in the fight against Al-Shabaab. The first batch of Somali soldiers trained in Eritrea have returned to the country, and the remaining will come back in the coming days. Those trained soldiers will be part of the fight against the Al-Shabaab group. Terrorist group Al-Shabaab was forced out of the country's main urban centers around 10 years ago but continues to wage war against Somalia's government and civilians. The Al-Qaeda-linked organization has also carried out attacks in Kenya and is accused of targeting Ethiopia. In the last six months, we have liberated more territories from the group in some regions of the country, especially in the Hirshabelle and Galmudug states. Even though President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed visited the troops in Eritrea last July, their return is set to end months of worry among families who feared they might have been recruited under false pretense.